Hi folks, welcome back to another video by EVU3 Golf Fisk Number Radio and today I'll be talking about uh, ZVTEX. This is uh, coming from HF Signals who have got a long lineage of producing QRP and uh, mid-range radios starting with uh, UBTEX, then SBTEX and now ZBTEX. Uh, I have had uh, both UBTEX and now the ZBTEX but I do not have SBTEX yet. SBTEX, uh, the first version started off with 40 watts, then the version 2 of it came down to 25 watts and now I understand uh, they'll go back to 50 watts in, the, in version 4, I think version 3 is already out. Anyway, we are talking about ZBTEX today and this came in the mail today, so pretty excited. I know this was released about 6 months back to US market and this is the first time it's coming out in the Indian market. Um, so let's see, uh, let us see what's there in the box and we'll go from there. Right. So, okay, we have a statement, uh, intro to ZBTEX from this and if you turn around, this is a very comprehensive Quality check, I believe this is the serial number. Well, uh, this looks uh, great. Let me zoom in a little bit so that you can see what's there. So current rating, uh, PX, max 4 amps, 0.4 amps, so no wonder. Uh, this uh, radio takes uh, 6 to 9 volts. Uh, so you need uh, 218650. And I'll show you something I've also done uh, for other uh, power purposes if you don't have 18650 or you lose the charge while operating the radio, right? Uh, let me unzoom and uh, this is what's there in the plastic cover. We have got a stylus, this I think the same stylus I got with UBTX as well. We got an Allen key, lot of Allen keys. The whole case is 3D printed if you want to know, right? And we have got a micro USB cable because this radio is using a uh, Raspberry Pi Zero version 2 and uh, that's for the RF and, uh, and then we have a Raspberry Pi Pico which controls the display. So, fantastic looking rig, uh, that's it, uh, very simple box, let me keep all of this away right now. Um, I'll do one more uh, video, today is only unboxing, I'll do one more video where we talk about uh, comprehensively on how to set this up and even maybe set up for FT8. This can do FT8 out of the box, so that is something neat. So, here we have uh, the 6 to 9 volts, right, you, the print is like this unfortunately. It should be, uh, you know, facing this, not like this. I don't know. Um, so, 6 to 9 volts. Then you have the CAT control. That's what the micro USB cable is for. This is for USB. I still need to figure out why USB is different. They, uh, you go to headsupsignals.com and they've got a section for ZBTEX where there is a user manual. There is the source code for the RF board, uh, Raspberry Pi Zero, and then the source code even for the Raspberry Pi Pico for the display control. Then you've got the HDMI. You can connect a monitor directly to this and run that. So this is for the key, this is for the microphone, this is for the external speakers. Three solid looking uh, sockets. And uh, like I said, this can do FT8 uh, out of the box. And there are other tools also. I mean, this is a Linux based uh, operating system, right? So um, it can do everything. And there's a battery uh, pack, you know, installed. Um, this is a BNC connector. I wish they could have done a little more professional looking BNC connector. And uh, here is the serial number. This is the same serial number that was written right on the uh, QC card. Let me just get that for you. So as you can see, it's the same serial number. Um, so the QC card matches the radio. So I'm, I know for sure that radio has gone through QC uh, control. Uh, one thing that I don't like, I mean, it's problem. It's not a problem, but only I think USB X is a on-off switch. Even DL2 man does not have an on-off switch. <clears throat> Even this one does not have an on-off switch. So when you have to switch off your radio, you have to pull this apart. So I'm trying to figure out where do I put a on-off switch. I'll probably put one here, but I'm also looking at other options to power this out. One I made uh, today, which is, uh, this is a PD controlled uh, 9 volts, uh, which goes to a DC jack. So if you have a PD control charger or a PD control power bank, you can run this off this. I've got a PD controlled uh, charger here. Uh, so let me connect this and we'll use this to switch on the radio, right? So connected that and push this in and you can see the display comes on and uh, you see that uh, ZBTEX firmware 1.07D waiting for ZBTEX to start. You see the display, like I mentioned before, is controlled by a Raspberry Pi Pico. So that comes up instantaneously along with the display because it's just a microcontroller, but the Raspberry Pi uh, Zero has to boot. So it's waiting for Raspberry Pi Zero to boot. So remember, always remember ZBTEX or SBTEX has a delay in starting up. So you account for that. It's not like 
Z290 or 7300 where you switch on and start operating immediately. Right. So we, I think it's about 20 to 25 seconds and here it comes. This is on. Let me connect the antenna to this antenna on. Uh, yes. Yes. Antenna is on. So let me connect this. Okay. Um, so here, since it's in uh, SSP mode, I can press. I still have to figure out a PTT mic for this, even though there is a mic here. I still need to go through the documentation to figure out what to, what kind of uh, TRS it uses for the microphone. I tried the DL2 MAN microphone and the USBS, both did not work. But not to worry, it's got a press TX and RX. You press for TX, right, and uh, it goes into TX mode. Hello, hello, you can see it jumping. And then when you want to come back to RX, you press on RX. It will be back to RX. So it's not a toggle button on the screen. It's a little different. I won't, uh, you know, uh, click on that. But uh, one thing you need to know is that when you want to change something, you need to press that so you get a white square there, and then you can change the settings, right? So that's something uh, UI uh, paradigm that you think uh, you need to get used to. That what interested me is the bandwidth. So it's got a huge bandwidth, right? Uh, going up to 5,000. So that's pretty good. But what I like with the noise uh, being very high in central uh, Bangalore, I would keep it at 2,800 for, um, you know, uh, LSV. So right now it's in TX. Okay. So we have got some CW going on. So you change in the mode because that window, that box is selected. So you need to be careful. So this is a random CW that is going on. Where is the waterfall frozen? And you can see the the waterfall not coming let me switch notes okay uh, yeah there you go i think the temporary glitch anyways so let's go to ft8 see if it can decode uh, yeah uh, it will not do anything because i have not set up the call yet my call sign so i think there is somewhere you need to set all that yeah, here it is. Uh, call sign, my grid, and the pass key if you want to control via remote. Yeah, that's also possible. It will uh, once you connect this to the Wi-Fi, it'll you can control it from anywhere in your house. It just because it's a Raspberry Pi, you can control it anywhere from your house. So yeah, a uh, lot of stuff to still figure out, but uh, on the whole, very exciting. Especially if you want something to tinker around, this is fantastic. And you can enter the uh, you know log here directly. I think I I love to see because I have not set up anything. So you can uh, do uh, you know select the bands here. Uh, right now there is no way to enter the frequency directly. So you select the band. I still have to read the manual. So I need to do that. Uh, I think uh, white is to remove any information you enter here. I open uh, there it is. So it's logged here. I made a contact earlier on with Kilo Echo Fire Echo. Echo. So this is a logbook. So that's very nice. And uh, let's uh, open up the menu and go back to 40 meters and uh, see that uh, signal there. I think IF we can reduce. So the IF, I still have to play around with it. The more IF you reduce, and uh, it'll uh, jump up. Uh, the more you increase, and the S meter kind of goes along with it. So I have heard that you keep IF at 40 and you'll get uh, correct uh, things, uh, uh, signal reports. So, and it's got a S meter as well here. So, yeah. So, you can see that waterfall really picking up here. It's not, uh, it's not CW. Now, oh, there you go. It's decoding. So, there's some random CW happening for the last uh, and, uh, month or two. So it's not even CW. Somebody said this is 
RTTY encoded as CW but encrypted RTTY. So not sure what's happening with that. But this comes on multiple frequencies. I can just re okay. Uh, this is one problem. This uh, knob is for almost all uh, you need to get it. See, we have it here also. So okay. So uh, pretty much, uh, I'll be making a much more deep dive on the control of this and. Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, FT8, I'll probably show you an FT8. I need to build a good stand for this. And of course, I'm using this uh, today, uh, the power. Let me zoom out. I'm using the power with the PD adapter. I thought it was a very, very interesting way so that you don't have to... Uh, you can also, in fact, take out the case here. I'm planning to do that. But somewhere I need to add a switch here because I can't, you know, it's keep pulling out the plug and putting it back is cumbersome. On the back side, interestingly, uh, let me just disconnect the antenna. On the back side, it's got a solid uh, metal plate. I believe uh, the two uh, IRF uh, MOSFETs and the power transistor, which is 7805, uh, is also mounted to the back. So you will feel it a little bit hot, but nothing, it won't bother you if you put it on the stand. So I plan to 3D print a stand for this so that I can, you know, it's got a great screen and uh, uh, by the way, this is a, I think a 5 inch screen, the s comes come with a 7 inch screen, so uh, screen quality is great and uh, I liked it and I had a couple of QSOs on this and it was good and uh, I connected this to my micro PA and it worked great uh, without any uh, hassles, so happy with this and uh, I think once you connect to, uh, you can also send CW mode QRZ, so uh check-in exchange yeah like i said a lot of stuff to uh read the document on and uh fun times ahead that's all i can say uh it'll be a good uh, radio if you really want to tinker and uh, you know uh customize this there are always uh, people uh, who have already created uh, since it's all 3d printed uh bring in uh, color to this rather than the good looking but a dull gray thank you very much uh for watching this video and I hope to come with more videos on this beautiful little drink. Thank you very much, 73. Have a great day.